Good evening, everyone, no matter where you may be. Thank you very much for joining me. This is a special report about a recent seismic event that has shaken the Kamchenka Peninsula there in Russia. Today, on September 18th, um, there was a powerful earthquake that struck near Petrolovrosk, Kamchenka, measuring a preliminary magnitude of a 7.8 just 10 kilometers in depth, making this a shallow quake with significant potential for widespread shaking. This event is part of an ongoing aftershock sequence following the massive 8.8 .8 magnitude earthquake in July of this year. I'm going to dive into the felt reports, damage assessments, fault lines involved, and what this means for the region. Residents of Petrolopkosk I know I'm pronouncing that wrong, sorry. Kimcheka. Here's the 7.8. This is Petropavlovsk. Yeah, right over here, right there. Yeah, let's see how many times I can butcher the name of the city. Don't bother trying to show me how to pronounce it. I won't remember. It's a city of about 180,000 people. When they were jolted awake in the early morning hours, local time, eyewitness accounts described intense sh shaking lasting 30 to 60 seconds rated on the modified mercantile intensity scale a levels of five to maybe seven near the epicenter social media is buzzing with videos of buildings swaying and alarms blaring and people rushing outside in panic one local resident Posted, the ground rolled like waves. Terrifying, but thankfully no collapse. Reports from the European Mediterranean Seismological Center. Now they said they had over 200 felt submissions with lighter shaking extending up to 460 kilometers away. So that would be about 286 miles. Here on EMSC, we got two reports. For a 5.6. That's an aftershock. And we're going to go through this. And Okay, we got another aftershock. A 5.6. And another one. A 5.4. A 5.9. Four reports on that one. And then here we got um, the 7.8. Petropolosk is 125 kilometers west of the epicenter. So that would be about 77 miles. Yeah, very much, they said. Okay, another one said, good morning, everyone. Yeah, what a wake-up a call. Um, Yeah, the alarm went off. You can see the other word that I didn't pronounce. Okay, first floor, it shook quite a bit. Right instead of alarm. Okay, northeast, fourth floor, it shook strongly. Probably about seven points and for a long time. Another one. Um, the area of the bypass, 14 kilometers, house made of timber, feels like being on a wave, a hum, a vibration in the background. To be honest, it already feels a bit scary from all this crap. Okay, an earthquake was felt. I was home at that moment. It occurred at approximately 6.59, I imagine that's a.m. Everything started shaking, things fell from the shelves. A painting fell down. Good morning, Kamchaka. This is a radio station. I'm not going to try and pronounce it. And we are starting our day with some exercise. The first exercise is jumping out of bed with a flip. Get up, get up, run, run. Let's see. It felt like at least seven points. Have a good day, everyone. Take care of yourself. All from the same location. Kamchaka slightly overdid it with attempts to wake up the residents. Yeah, they got carried away. At least they got a good sense of humor, don't they? In my last video that I did about the earthquakes that have been occurring here, in my own personal opinion, they're not getting smaller like they should be after that major 8.8 .8 in July. I would not be surprised, and people should be prepared for maybe a magnitude 9 or lar larger sometime in the near future. A tsunami warning did go out, and you can see we got five boys registering 
uh, Asanami here along the Aleutian um, Islands, one closer probably to Japan, and another one further down, um, Saipan. I haven't refreshed it. Let me refresh this. All right, we got boys going off there by the coast of Alaska. Yeah, okay. That's what it's showing for the wave height. This one here is closer to the epicenter, showing the water column. Yeah, look at that. Lost data. Emergency line saw a surge in calls for stress-related issues like anxiety and high blood pressure. Um, the tsunami warning did prompt evacuations, adding to the chaos. Though the waves were limited, they're saying, one to two meters. So that would be about three to six feet. Um, early inspection shows the damage is relatively minor compared to the July mega thrust events. In the area of Petropolsk, Kamchatka, reports include cracks in walls, fallen objects, and brief power outages in several districts. Mobile networks were disrupted temporarily, and some roads may have minor fissures. There was coastal flooding affecting low-lying ports, uh, leading to the evacuation of around 2,000 people. That was just a preventative measure. Economic impacts are estimated under $10 million, mainly from inspections and temporary closures. Four minor injuries occurred, they're saying, as of making this video, uh, during the panic of the evacuations. But miraculously, no fatalities. Authorities have declared a state of emergency uh, there in Kamchatka, uh, Curry, to uh, coordinate response efforts. Once again, this quake occurred along the infamous Krill Kamchatka Trench, which I got drawn out here in red. A key segment of the Pacific Ring of Fire, where the Pacific Plate subducts beneath the Oshk Plate about 8 centimeters per year. Well, it's making up for yeah, lost time, I guess. It's in a rush to get to where it's going. The fault mechanism was, in fact, a thrust-type rupture on a mega thrust um, part of the, the fault there, spanning roughly 200 to 300 kilometers, releasing built-up stress from the early July event. So it's still, you know, everyone says, oh, it's going to release pressure. Well, yeah, it's still got pressure. This trench stretches nearly 3,000 kilometers, which is 1,900 miles about from Japan all the way up to Kamchatka. It actually goes all the way up here, uh, yeah, to the Aleutian Island chain. You can see that there. This fault zone is notorious for massive quakes. Like in 1952, there was in fact a 9.0 that devastated the area with tsunami. Uh, um, yeah, it just those poor people. Wow. As teams continue to monitor the situation, residents are urged to prepare for more aftershocks. This event underscores the validity, nature of the ring of fire and the importance of readiness in seismic hotspots like Kamchatka. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please share. Please subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. And always be prepared for a disaster. I wonder if they'll get uh, any type of tsunami there on the west coast of the U.S. Because it seems to be traveling that way. Yeah, watch those boats you might have tied up in the docks. So what are your thoughts? Thank you again for watching. Please um, be safe and God bless you all.